is this work now? I wonder if people on Twitch can hear us now. We'll find out. Yay! All right. Uh, okay. So, yeah, last time we streamed, we were having trouble because uh, Marius and Dom couldn't actually hear the game sound. So, you all say it sounds great, but now we're going to actually play some game music, and we're going to try and talk over it, and then you can tell us how messed up the mix is, and we will solve it from there. Once I can find, there we go. So we should just talk over this. I'm sure that's loud as hell. <laughs> for the music. I don't care about that yet because we're not really playing. This is just an audio test. Uh, Myers, you got to keep talking, otherwise... No, it's fine. Um, yeah. I don't know why I can't hear you anywhere. I can hear you, but they can't, which is uh, deeply exhausting. <laughs> can sort of hear you, but quietly. Okay, that's deeply weird. Yeah, people think they're hearing you through my mic, which is stupid. I, God, I thought I had this all set up. That's so annoying. Uh, huh. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I want the game to be quiet, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I don't know what I've done differently than last time, which is what's making me feel slightly insane. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, let's see. Um, okay, can you talk now? Hello, yes, this is me. And um, this is my voice. And um, this is just, yeah, you can hear me fine, so... Okay. Oh, there it is. Yay! Yeah. Hello! Hi, okay. everybody. Whoa! I... Use my <laughs> soft microphone. Yeah, that was it. This okay, is no, the I, solution. I, I had, had Zoom... Zoom audio was only sending in my headphones instead of sending into voice meter banana. <laughs> The mixing tool that's fun to use. Okay, so I'm going to restart the game again, and the music's going to play again, and it's going to be annoying, and we're going to talk over it again. Um, 
can you talk again? Hi, this is me. Uh, I'm your co-host, co Marius, and I'm here to play The Secret of Monkey Island with you, Jake, in front of the world. Good, great. Okay, <laughs> let's see. So, do, 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 do. The Monkey Island music is never annoying, it's lovely. <laughs> your voice is a tad loud and kind of tiny. Okay, can you talk this again, is, Marius? Yes, this is the intro theme. Uh, the theme song to Monkey Island. Yep, I think I have it on its own thing, and then you on your own, and me on my own now. Hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, so maybe we did it, finally. <laughs> so, maybe, just maybe in, we... on, in my ear, when I talk, I don't hear the music? What? <laughs> How how is it for the rest while I'm talking? Okay. We're, we're back to you not hearing the music? That's deeply annoying. Well, no, only when I talk. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's because Zoom is ducking things for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Woo! Yeah, okay. we did it. We finished the secret of Monkey Island. Thanks, everyone, <laughs> for coming. <laughs> yep, okay, let's see. Well, it's only six past eight, so yeah, could have been worse. Uh, your mic might be peaking, but that's not going to oh, be no. fixed on this stream, so that's, I'm sorry. Uh, the secret was the sounds we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all true. About the the peaking, is it something I should? I don't look think at? you're going to be able to fix it. Okay. Da -da. Yeah. I try not to scream. Yeah, don't don't get too excited when we're playing this video game. That's the problem. <laughs> you like Monkey Island okay. too much. Okay. Being excited about Monkey Island is the only reason why we're doing this, so <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Fair enough. Okay. Um Hmm. Should hmm. we start the real version of this now? Yes. With code wheel and everything. Yeah. Uh, or should we or should we do an intro first? I think we probably should. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Ha. Ha ha. Hello. Welcome back to our stream of the Secret of Monkey Island. It's it's. Uh, I'm Jake, and I'm joined with my <laughs> friend Marius. Hello. Did you did you <laughs> want to do an idle thumbs intro just now? <laughs> I don't know. My brain just my brain just fell out of my head. Um, <laughs> Let's see, this is part two of our stream of, of The Secret of Monkey Island. We played through part one last week, and I think we're going to try and play parts two, three, and four, which is the entire rest of the game. Um, right. Do, 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 do. Let's see. The Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, some people some people in the last stream uh, asked us what this game is for newcomers, and I realized we kind of forgot to explain anything about what The Secret of Monkey Island yeah. is. So um, you want to try and do it? Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> uh, okay. No, Monkey Island, The Secret of Monkey Island is a graphic adventure game, a point and click adventure game released by LucasArts in 1990, although at that time they were Lucasfilm Games. It's um it's an old adventure game. I It's right, <laughs> yeah. Um it was it was created by quite a lot of people, but I think the people who it is most who are um sort of most known for it are the writers and designers of it who are Ron Gilbert um, who had previously created Maniac Mansion and uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade adventure games. He sort of, I guess through Maniac Mansion, invented the modern point-to-click adventure game. And by modern, I mean old. But at the time, it was modern because yeah. it, it um, was the sort of the first game to popularize replacing the text parser with an entire mouse-driven interface. But then, and then the other two writers on the game were Tim Schafer and Dave Grossman, uh, Tim Schafer went on to lead Full Throttle and Grim Fandango and started Double Fine Productions. And Dave Grossman, uh, he co-wrote McGowan 2 with him and Dave the Tentacle. And then Dave went off and worked with Ron Gilbert at Humongous Games, where they made uh, the Pajama Sam games and Putt-Putt and a bunch of sort of uh, kids and all-ages adventure games. And then Dave ended up 
as a, a creative director and head writer at Telltale Games for like the first decade. I think that that company existed. So this is a game that they all worked on in 1990, and it's uh, it, it's fucking great. Um, I think the two of us played this when we were very young. I I was 11, and you were what, like five? Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's the sort of game that I think if you play when you're a kid and it sticks with you, it really sticks with you, and it is uh, it's been lodged in my brain basically since I first played it, and it's why I make video games it's probably why i have anything resembling a job because i made i got involved in the monkey island fan community when i was a teenager on the early internet and um this is i think for both of us probably the first time in a while that we've gone back and and actually played through this thing in high detail i used to play it every couple of years and i bet you're the same way where you used to play monkey island one all the time and uh same this is, and this is our excuse uh as two big monkey island nerds to go through and play through the game uh, and just talk about all the things that we like about Monkey Island and also just remember all the stuff that's in it and laugh at the jokes. Um, yeah, also, in exactly. the last stream, a ton of people showed up in chat who knew way more about Monkey Island than either of us do, um, and the chat was really fun. So we're going to try this time and actually take some breaks and <laughs> and pay attention to the chat and whatever else uh, Instead of, ju- instead of just half missing it. Also, last time we were joined by Dominic Armado, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood in Monkey Island 3, 4, Tales of Monkey Island, and then he came, went back around and did the voice in the special editions. I think he'll be joining us again, but he's not quite there yet. He's doing stuff at home. So we will have a, a friend later. Um, <laughs> yes, Dominic Armado, food critic. Food critic, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, you said pretty much everything, uh, and for me, it's also the same. Like I kind of became a, a game designer, like probably because of this game. This this game kickstarted a lot. Like uh, like entering the Scumbar for the first time, it was like mind blown. Like before I became a game designer, I did two D two D animation and such, and uh, this had a huge influence. <clears throat> this game, and. Yeah, uh, Jake and I said it last time that like uh, it's interesting how much you, you you still remember and know by heart of these games. But every time you replay them, you 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 find again, again new things or or like tiny micro details that that you forgot that are hilarious or 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 suddenly there's this this weird sentence that feels like oh this is a deep lore game or something like that <laughs> and it's always wonderful going back and finding new things and um yes uh i i hope we we will pay we are better in paying attention to the chat uh i rewatched our stream last time and and uh i'm bummed how much we missed because there's a lot of good good comment good questions in there and also uh good um, um, yeah, behind the scenes info that we we don't know. Yep. Well, and we'll try to scroll back this time and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, also, we are playing through the EGA release of The Secret of Monkey Island, which is the original release. It's the one that you can see all the good pixel art, um, pixel art coloring stuff by Steve Purcell and oh no, I've forgotten his name. Guy who Mike worked Ebert. On, uh-huh. um, maybe. <laughs> My chat will remind me of the uh, uh, everything's bad now well it's fine <laughs> I don't know anything about Monkey Island or who made it or anything probably Martin Cameron I'm sure ATM Martin Machine Cameron? is in here so all the details will be will be revealed by uh, the way did ATM Mark Ferrari work on this yeah Mark Ferrari is who I was thinking of ATM Machine is a, it's a horrible nickname that's meant to ruin people's brains yeah, Steve Purcell. No, it's a correct one. It makes sense. It's it's it's. No, the machine. M. Oh, ATM machine. I see. Yes, mm-hmm. fine. We'll allow it. There you go. Um, yeah, but the, the person I was thinking of was Mark Ferrari, who also did work on Loom, and I think he did background work on this game. Um, the use of the sixteen color color palette in this game is so good, and I know we spent the last time playing through Melee Island, which is all nighttime and sunsets and spooky darks, and now we're going to be playing the stuff on the ship and on Monkey Island itself, which is all like blinding blue sky, um, 
and beaches and palm trees, and it still also is just totally extremely good at how how much they get use out of that tiny EGA palette. Anyway, let's go. Ha ha! But first, a history lesson, history quiz. I got the code wheel. Oh, good. It's, yeah. Oh no! The code wheel is not a human oh, I can't face. Read it. If oh you hold no! It, if you hold it in front of your body, we'll be able to see it. There we go. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay. Ah, it's a hmm. it's, it's a regular guy, not even a hybrid face. It is a hybrid. Oh, is actually. it? Actually, yeah, yeah. It lines up well. Look, uh, it looks like. Oh yeah! All right, right? fine. Yeah. There he is. Uh, Jamaica. Um, so that's fifteen hundred seventy-three. And then let's see if I can remember which key loads. That's Trump. Key. No, it's no. not. He looks like a thumb. What? <clears throat> oh no! <laughs> I pressed oh. the wrong button. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, this pirate who stole the head of the other pirate who was hung in yes. Jamaica. I failed. I failed. <laughs> not the copy protection, but the scum VM F keys. <laughs> so this is sixteen hundred sixty-six. Okay. There we go. Now let's load our save game. Ah. <laughs> Only one. Ha! Ah. Oh, uh, we should uh, like uh, what? What did? Previously happened, actually. Previously so, on Monkey Island. Yeah, go for it. You're, yeah, you, this is your job oh more than anyone's ever. <laughs> oh no! So, <laughs> so uh, on Melee Island, suddenly uh, Guybrush Three Brood appeared there, and he's not from Melee Island apparently, and he's new, and he wants to be a pirate, and so he went to the three most important, very important-looking pirates in the Scum Bar, and they told him how to become a pirate by doing three quests or th three tasks, and that is. Learning so three fighting. trials, you might say. Uh, the three, the three, the three trials, right? And one is like beating the sword master in in, in a sword fight, uh, stealing the idol uh, from the governor Elaine, and uh, uh, digging out the treasure of Melee Island. And so we did all of these things. Things the treasure was a cool T-shirt. Um, we defeated the the. Swordmaster, and we saw the idol. And on our way, we fell in love with Elaine. Oh, fell in love. They were just, I don't know, both had a crush. I don't know. <laughs> and um, suddenly, uh, Elaine got kidnapped by uh, Chuck shortly before we finished our, our, tri uh, our, our three trials. Yep. And so our quest is now to follow Lechak to Monkey Island and rescue Elaine. So we got a crew, uh, a, a brave crew of three people: the Swordmaster, Otis, who we rescued from jail, and Meat Hook, who, <laughs> who Guybrush is uncharacteristically extremely rude to. And um, in in on Melee Island, I think for the rest of the game we don't insult him anymore, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the my favorite one of my favorite parts of the last stream is um this the 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 dialogue with oh just with insulting Meat the shit out of Otis yeah 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 it's like whoa what's going on Guybrush <laughs> and we <laughs> and we bought this ship and I don't know if we'll find out now or, or have we heard from Stan that this ship belongs to someone called Marley. I think that he uh, just said it, that it. I think all Stan said was that it was the only ship that made it to Monkey Island there and back, and it came back with a crew full of monkeys. I don't remember, right? Did he if he talked about Marley or not? But I just found a dusty book in a drawer, so maybe we should look at it. Um, yes, maybe we should get into some nerdy. <laughs> Previously crap. on Monkey Island. <laughs> God, what if it did? Tooth rot, first mate. All uh, right. Yep. God, good. This is so. Oh, okay. This this goes on now for a while. Oh yeah, we'll just get this, this lore dump here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, I skipped one oh. accidentally. 
Oh no! Ah, oh, the worst. Tooth rot. Oh, right. They had dinner and then suddenly they arrived at Monkey Island. Mm -hmm. That's good. From the soup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that the robot? The first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Huh. Rude. <laughs> we'll set out again tomorrow. Okay. Uh, it's 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 funny how uh, they got um, they didn't get an actual map but a recipe. It's like exactly the same. Like when uh, you oh, your treasure map is or the steps. map to the treasure map. And it's just a dance. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, good. Just it slowly doles out that in this world everything is garbage and uh, no, <laughs> nothing <laughs> right. nothing is correct. And your first mate is a guy named Toothrot who is a I, yeah. Just that the feeling that even the previous captain. It might have been a very similar situation to you, where it's just two guys on this whole boat going at this uh, out to solve this thing together, and then after they get out to sea, they realize that all they have is a recipe. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, the world of this game is really ridiculous. Oh yes, they've decided now that they're out at sea on a boat alone. Excuse me, a ship. Maybe they should just <laughs> screw around and have oh. a vacation. Let me let me see if I. Find something on the chat. Mari connection comes later. Mari, Mari is thinking of escape. Oops. This is. Oh, Neil, Neil Cesarega is here and says, I kind of like the puzzle frameworks that are just arbitrary lists. I agree. I think it's really cool that you get these lists that are almost meaningless and then have to sort of re re-deduce meaning and puzzles backwards from them. Oh hi JP. There's there's a theory I never heard of. The secret of Monkey Island turns turns people, people into, monkeys? into monkeys. Yeah, somebody said he thought it was as a little kid. <laughs> yeah, you being just dumped a bunch of arbitrary information, then have to kind of reverse divine meaning from them. Also feels similar to the way that you you learn all the insults, and then when you fight the swordmaster, uh, all of a sudden all that information that you have has to just be completely recontextualized. I really yeah. don't like that in Scum VM the cursor doesn't line up pixel perfect with the art. It's making me slightly slightly die inside. Really? Oh no. No, it's fine. Oh, it's, it's I, happening. It, it's the it's the it's Scum VM. Okay. It's Scum VM. I remember playing this for the first time and being basically completely shocked at how huge this ship was and how much I suddenly had to contend with that I. Yeah, hatchet into into LeChuck's face is definitely a, a Steve Purcell style detail. Oh, you, uh, you think that's LeChuck? Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a pirate. It looks like LeChuck. You think it's Herman Toothrot or the other guy? We we don't know. The, <laughs> oh, we don't know who the captain is yet, I guess. <laughs> right. Mutinous crew. That's okay. Get my bearings on this on this ship. Maybe it's Toothrot. Uh, let's see. Is this the <laughs> ah yes, mm. the like Captain Crunch. Yep. Let's get one of those. Is there? I don't remember. Can we actually get stuck if we throw something important into the pot? I don't remember if this if this does that. Oh, I forgot. I have to change my background. There. Nope. Oh, some very fine wine. Mmm. I like the the general. Hmm. I, this is something I only see in the first Monkey Island. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if I can describe it, but these kind of environments and backgrounds that are like 
full of tiny uh how should i say that it reminds me also of the shop and i want to click everything and and see like can i open every single chest yep and maybe it's just because it, it is drawn with a mouse because i mean in my canon 2 everything has detail as well in the background but Sure, there's not quite the intent of like someone went in and pixel art placed every little every little thing back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like like these chests in the dark, which is like they are in black background, so we we just have a gray outline instead of black pixel outlines. I actually forget where to get the um, the information for how to get to Monkey Island. I'll go talk to these guys. Isn't that in? Oh, you have to find a key and um, in the serial box. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> nice. <laughs> what is Otis holding, by the way? Is he holding a uh, Kala sword? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, maybe he's got. I always uh -huh. thought that was like a like I thought that was like a foil sunscreen or something. Like he's like shading himself. <laughs> but <laughs> I got a prize. This is no prize. Yeah. So what is? Why is there? So it's the key to the captain so captain's locker oh, it's, it's for this oh, right captain safe right so did the captains hide the key in, in one of the boxes and you just pick the right one i can only assume that whoever runs the secret of monkey island immersive game uh went and reset it after captain marley but for <laughs> the oh, journal. You, oh you mean this is a, a an escape room situation yes oh by the way like this is we talked about it last time like special animations like a walk animation where Guybrush carries something, and you never see that any some. I know it always in this the game. tiniest rewards in this game. Oh, I got some yeah. cinnamon sticks and a piece of paper. Hmm. <laughs> Agent Zeppelin in the chat says every Captain's Crunch has a key to the Captain's Locker. It's just good branding. That's true. I'm sure that if I ate <laughs> any of them. <laughs> wow! Exciting newsletter energy coming off of those three <laughs> uh, exclamation points. Reactions. <laughs> Yeah, who wrote that? Cinema 6 Leaves of Mint, Human Skull Pressed. One Live Chicken. God, what are more of the following? <laughs> That's the sort of thing that as a kid just cracked me up so much that it has like the gross extra ingredients from the end of a can of diet soda or something. All right. I remember many of these, but not all of them. I do remember that I should go up to this awesome view and get this mm. flag, which will become a pressed skull. <laughs> but I don't know how many of these I actually remember. This is uh, when you climb down. This is another special animation just made for that. Yep. I especially like special animations in this first one because it was like uh, disk space was so limited. Yep. And it's nice to see them going like, ah, let's add this animation there, even though it's not not super necessary to make if they have to save space. I love cinnamon. Let's <laughs> see. What all should I be putting in here? Brimstone, I guess it's gunpowder. Live chicken, do you think it wants my... Will it accept my chicken with a pulley in the middle? What? Do, do, we, do we give that away? I don't know. That. This is why they're giving them out. About time. <laughs> Oop, I got breath mints, which I should use. Let's see. Put the gunpowder in there. So I put cinnamon sticks, breath mints, squirt or human skull. I haven't. I don't know. Monkey's blood. Squid ink. I put a chicken in. Brimstone. I don't remember what's what. Monkey blood is the wine. Oh right. Okay. And then I, there maybe there's a pot mm -hmm. of ink on the um somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah, on the on the on your desk, I think. Yeah, 
JP pointed out that breath mints are used with in this chapter, but in the first chapter you can just use them to uh, eat one. They're just use. They get the breath mints. You, yeah. you need them to uh, so to talk to Otis. Yeah, that's true. But I, thought, I thought you could take one and just eat it as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably. Just with a with a with a comment of of Guybrush there. Uh, Did I just grab the feather pen and not the ink? Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, you give them to Otis, of course. Just the drop. What am I missing? Uh, don't we have to add multiple drops or something? Oh, maybe. But one squirt. Do I need to add four okay. mints? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oops. Add the cereal. Oh, well, I added a bunch of mints, so I screwed it up. Uh, too bad. <laughs> cereal. This won't taste good. There we good. go. Oh, yikes. Yes, beautiful smoke animation. I love that this game as a narrator. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think that like, this is the Voodoo Lady theme or just a general? It feels like it's just sort of track. the Voodoo theme in this one, and then it becomes. Yeah. I, I like that sprite a lot. <laughs> oh, this. It's just smushed, <laughs> smushed, smushed Guybrush, who you can leave on the floor as long as you want. <laughs> and I will. Yeah, the. the the ingredients being its own weird challenge where you have to sort of backport what they are is good. Also, it still keeps riding that line of like, this is what kids would think a magic spell is, of just like pour a bunch of crap <laughs> from around your house into a pot <laughs> yeah. and then make a noxious fume that makes you unconscious. Um, can you can you look at the soup or something like that? Oh, like try the soup? <laughs> oh, nope. Why am I even supposed to look at it? Hopefully he talks about how gross it is. Full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Holy monkey bladders. It's Monkey Island. <laughs> and the others. Okay. <laughs> Mutinous crew. <laughs> hey, look. What? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what piece of crap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> next to a chair. Can you interact with a with a mug? Uh, next oh, no, to I, I don't Mito? think so. It looks like a classic puzzle situation. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what, what did he say? He says, oh. wow, this is well worth the $59.95 plus tax. <laughs> Oh man! Let's see. I'm gonna fire myself out of a cannon, I guess. Do I not need to load it with gunpowder and stuff? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I need that. Do I need? I can't remember. Oh yeah, let's see. It is. Um, there's like an interesting comment by Chiberchi. Mm -hmm. I hope I. I'm saying it's right. That like, uh, like uh, connecting it a little bit. That this is maybe the voodoo lady's doing, since oh, sure. she gave him um, the the map and such. And yeah, this really all does feel like some other people were one step ahead of you on uh, mm. on this whole same deal. 
Okay, use gunpowder in cannon. Boop. I need to light that on fire, right? Uh, yeah, with paper, I think. And do you have a pot? I do have a pot. So I'm all ready. Well, ATM Machine says that the recipe was gotten from the citizen of Melee. You had to buy a copy from him back when there was a ship combat puzzle. That's all true, but that's not Ooh. what's actually in the text of the game. So uh, we can we can imagine whatever we desire. But yeah, it does make sense that it would <laughs> potentially come from the same guy who gave you the um, the dance steps to go find the treasure. Although that's it's tough because the 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 dance steps feel like it's just like a tourist activity, whereas this is an actual thing that takes you somewhere. It's it's uh. Um, so I, I would say that given that there's no definitive answer in the game that is debatable forever and should be debated forever for the next 50 years, people should be wondering who gave Herman Toothrot the recipe to get to that place. <laughs> is there something on fire that I'm just not paying attention to? Is it in the... Oh. Yes, below the pot. Uh, the red hot fire, yeah. How much that's hot. Do I need to burn the recipe to Monkey Island? I don't, don't look at it. Use. And you pick oh, up no, there's no use with. Um, um, oh, the rope? No. No. I may need this later. No. Uh, pieces of paper. Where do you get those again? I think it's something because you can mess the puzzle up, so you have to pick up another thing to burn. <laughs> is it, is it Stan's uh, leaflets? Yeah, can I... Can I... Nope. Use pamphlet. Nope. What do I? I don't even remember. What do I burn? I can burn anything flammable. Well, that's not true. What? Pirates melee. You got me. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Thank you, Chuck. Use no. Oh my goodness. A t shirt. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Flaming mass. Let's get out of here. Flaming mass. <laughs> this was always hard for me, this puzzle, to be so quick. Where's the pot? You have to use the pot. Ah! <laughs> we did it. Yeah. And then just boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful how he didn't even get in yet. No, it's like, no he does not have a pot oh. on his head. And the pot is gone. <laughs> Under Monkey Island. Ooh. <laughs> Finally, a monkey. Don't try this at home, kids. That's right. There he is. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm Herman! Ah. Don't bother say hello! Jeez! Oh, Passive aggressive! <laughs> Hi! Well, He's also beautifully animated. Who, Herman? He yeah, yeah. Weirdo. yeah again, yeah. like like I always thought, like, uh, Mike Cannon 2 Zombie Lit Chuck is like, this fully animated body thing, but Her Herman also like leans back and forth. Yeah, they really make good use of the fact that the heads and the bodies are separate are separate elements in this in, yeah. in all this in these games. Let's look at this. And I'm really glad about the birds uh, <laughs> in the in the in the sky. We'll be meeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so <laughs> tourists. Hmm. Better leave it here. Ah, oh, it's the robot from his ship. So good. What robot? This the robot says sea monkey when he, when you look at it. Oh. So it's 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 from your ship. It's the robot that um, Herman Toothright and Captain Marley used. Oh man. <laughs> and for a second, I heard the robot. And... Oh, it's the robot. It's, yeah, it's Escape from Monkey Island's giant robot monkey head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the way that this works also so good that after you've, you've been on Melee Island, which is just uh, one yes. screen worth, and then one you walk screen. into the jungle and see, uh, no, this is going to be nope. a huge, 
huge place. Yes. Like. <laughs> and the birds again. And the, the vultures uh. circling you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And again, just like all these little things that you can click on that don't necessarily mean anything, but you hope that if you click on them, you'll find a location. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, boy. bleak. I, <laughs> it's a little bit shocking. Yep. Uh, but yeah. So is the other guy you ever away. sailed with Captain Marley? Is that... I don't think so. I wondered at first too, but... <clears throat> Oh, like is it supposed to be that in this? Uh, is this going to be the whole thing again? Oh yeah. Maybe on this piece of paper. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to read all this again, but I might have to. They they probably had a crew. A crew of four, because the recipe is for four as well. It's printed on letterhead. <laughs> God, all these passive aggressive notes. <laughs> You, know, so to sleep. <laughs> you, get to, you get to this island that uh, seems like it's full of mystery, and then it's just people passing all these boring memos. <laughs> of each other. Ah, oh, that's re really recent. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, didn't <laughs> didn't Herman <laughs> wanted to say so wanted to say something about this person? What does the chat say? Yeah, I think Captain Marley is not related to this stuff, because um, in Monkey Island Two, he's one of the he's one of the people who is looking for the secret of Big Whoop. He's one of the people looking for the four map pieces. Yes. So I don't think he's involved yes. in this. But then uh, Escape from Monkey Island later turns Herman Toothrot into Captain Marley, which is an mm. unforgivable retcon. But whatever, it is yeah. what it is. It's part of the story. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, we can get into all that into all that garbage <laughs> in in. Uh, in my calendar too. <laughs> Man, all, all these locations that I all, that I just constantly forget about. I'll mm. think this interesting rock too. Yes, please. <laughs> that was just my home and secret, and secret base of operations. Uh, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Time to walk to the sun, as chat points out. Oh, sure, walk to the sun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How he t he always turns to the to the uh, audience, right? Yep. If you look somewhere else first. All these little scenes like this are things that are just erased from my brain until I go back and play the game again. The little like connective tissue pieces all over my game. Yeah. But it, this place just seems so huge. Um, yeah. 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 It's also another. Um, it, I always thought like, okay, Monkey Island. There's there's not so much happening there, uh, in, uh, if you compare it to Melly Island. But then, yeah, like you said, there's so much like each note and and this sun thing and backgrounds. I wonder if I've messed everything up by doing that. We'll find out. Yeah, like just all this weird, all this like oh, natural it, geology. <sighs> Man, do I want to sink the ship? I don't know if I do. Oh. oh. <laughs> I know He's right. It is an amazing it. view. It's 20 years. Ooh. Yes, it is a nice view. <laughs> I don't care for it myself. <laughs> hey, no, no. I <laughs> some kind of castaway. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at us. Yeah. Hey. Why we are talking to? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Heaven knows. I live here. out of here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
the color palette, I think, is 16. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right. Yep, there we go. Uh, I see we, my, myself. My dad played a lot of Sierra games, so this was hilarious. <laughs> Robert Tree. <laughs> so good. Do I want to sink the ship? The, Is it the, already the, aimed the, at the, the ship? The, the epilogue of the game slightly changes depending on how all this stuff works. Uh, but I'll yeah, see. do it. But, we'll see. Boop. <laughs> Did I do it? Did you push or pull it? Maybe I didn't align it correctly. <laughs> A new passive aggressive note has appeared. Whoa, really? I think so. Is there two throat? <laughs> ah, that's a hint. Oh, right, because you can. Um... You need to shoot the banana tree. Yeah. Wow, this thing goes all over the place. A Pollo Diablo asks. Is uh, when the special edition came out that the voice actors match the characters' voices you imagined. I actually don't know. I cannot really describe the voices I have in my head when reading. Even though I I know uh, Dominic's voice now as Guybrush, I don't think I hear him in my head when I read his lines. Yeah, my my brain just isn't one that puts voices on characters. Really, oh, I did it. I hit the big banana tree. It's weird, like, Monkey <laughs> Island 1 and 2 especially, even maybe more than a lot of other games, just map in my brain the same way as reading a book, and I don't really assign people when I read a book. It's just, it feels like it's just kind of information that goes into my brain and then half half exists as a thing that is that has already happened and half exists as, like, as the thing that I'm reading, but, like, I, I just never think of any of this stuff as having a voice. So playing the special edition it really feels like it it feels closer to like an audio book or something to me than to people acting it because I just know all the lines so well. Um, I mean, I've always thought that the casting they did in Curse of McGallan was really good, uh, but when it comes back around and is inside of this game, it just feels strange to me. Speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of voices, so uh, Jake, uh, hey, so it's Dominic, Bob. we can't hear you. You're muted. Uh, there we ah, go. Hey. Fantastic. Hey. Hello. Nice. Let's see if I can Howdy. get this to work. Hey, it's Dom. Just in time for me to talk about how it's Hello, weird well. to me to hear a voice in Monk Island 1 that is Dom. Uh, oh, it's, it's weird for me, too. Good voice. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. We talked about it last time. <laughs> uh, all right, so welcome back. Again. We're joined again by Dominic Armado, the voice of Guybrush Sleepwood. Uh, Hello, yeah. all. Hey, Dom. Since you Hello. were last here, we put together the recipe on the ship and made it to Monk Island, and we've just kind of been walking around pushing things into rocks. Fantastic. We are reading passive aggressive letters reading passive between aggressive notes. The, the cannibals and Lichak's <laughs> crew. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Uh, yep. Let's see. I'm just going to adjust a couple of things here. Click, click, click. So we've learned from all yeah, the passive he... aggressive notes that uh, there's cannibals on this island and that Lichak is hiding underneath a giant monkey head. Which is apparently not the secret. <laughs> Who's to say? Apparently well, not. yeah, I, I don't think it actually is because. Uh... Oh. <laughs> All right, there he is. I actually get a, a, it's a little bit jump scary when when when, when the monkey Herman head scrolls appears. in. It's great, and oh, this too. But I mean, like Herman appearing. Oh, I see. It's yeah. just you're alone and here he is. Yeah, let, let's ask him everything. I'm still getting myself all adjusted and settled here. Oh, wow, all these welcomes here in the chat stream. Hi, all. Thank you. <laughs> With a friend. Whale earwax is actually a thing? What? Whales have ears? I mean, I suppose they have some sort of hearing apparatus. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about whale. I'm, 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 I'm looking at the chat stream here. Sorry, I whale earwax. Oh, oh, right. 
I mean, I heard recently there was uh, some uh, uh, drones built to collect whale snot. So I guess if they have snot, why shouldn't they have earwax, right? That's true. Man, the old, truth that's a big old piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ambergris, that's different. That's like, or as, uh, as mom put it, porpoise hork, I believe. Did Herman just... Uh, I didn't quite read that, but like, did he destroy the idea, uh, the 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 theory that the secret turns the crew into monkeys? Or oh, I, I like that. Uh, <laughs> J- that was that? JP's idea. I like that too. Oh, sure, because the boat comes back full of monkeys. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's tough but, because but, I mean, people have said, "Oh, well, the secret of Monkey Island is that there's a big ship underneath." Obviously, that's not the case because Herman and his uh, ship's mate came here to find the secret of Monkey Island 20 years ago, well before LeChuck got here. And then we get to the island, and there's cannibals leaving passive-aggressive like city council meeting notes uh, to LeChuck everywhere, saying, "Please leave your ship, get your ship out of here." And then LeChuck leaves them passive-aggressive notes saying, um, "It's okay for you to come to the giant monkey head." Um, but given that it's my my home slash secret base, please don't make a racket or whatever he says. Uh, why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? <laughs> it is it's great that you getting dropped on this island. You think it's going to end up being like you going on this Indiana Jones style adventure or something to sort of creep around this place and figure out what the hell's going on, and then you find that it's just full of people who are all rudely sniping at each other between Herman Toothrod and LeChuck and the cannibals and it's like you just are in this <laughs> stupid ecosystem of people who are like <laughs> snippily I loaned him my banana grabber and I've got the key to the monkey head and none of them will give things to each other Yeah, just because of these <laughs> petty local like uh, it's like you you land inside of a network of people who are all mad at each other on next door basically is what's happened on, on Monkey <laughs> Island well see now I'm curious what people's reaction was when Curse came out and they were, uh, the cannibals were voiced um, very uh, waspy, shall we say. I had no idea what that, what did, that meant once I got there. Did anyone expect that? I don't know. I mean, it kind of tracks if you go back to who these characters are, but it's also very strange. But that's also, I don't know how you voice those characters in a way that is good. Uh, I don't know if good is the right word, but like, who are the cannibals on this island? They're, they're very unknown uh, like what they're supposed to be, and if you, you you could go a lot of directions with that, that would be bad. And I guess they decided, let's just make them sort of yeah, sound like upper class white guys. I mean, I wonder more along the lines of who went to go play Curse and got to the Cannibals and thought, oh yeah, that's exactly how they sounded in my head. <laughs> it's probably zero zero people. <laughs> that's that's true. And like I wonder, I wonder in the cast because that was like part of the gag itself. Just that <laughs> you know, everyone who's played the first two games at this point is going to go, "Oh, wow!" <laughs> so that's what they sound like. That's they've always. That's, that's what Guybrush was hearing. <laughs> exactly. Excuse, excuse me, but this just looked so funny. What How you? <laughs> just you pull like, the lever, it closes, and you think, "Hmm, Herman could have," and then he and walks then he just away. walks out. Yeah, <laughs> like it's so good. Um, yeah. By the way, the color palette in this screen is so good. I like the 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 choice to make it blue instead of you know green and such because it's a jungle and such. It's so good, and and the sky and everything yep. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, this place has its own sort of mood separate from the other uh, from the other jungle areas. They make it feel like it's yeah. sort of hidden in overcast shadow because you can see off in the distance what the other ones look like. Hmm. Right. Is this the beach I arrived on, or is this a different beach? This is That's right. a different one. Okay. And and yeah, you're you're hearing music, beaches? right? But in yep. the Atari ST version, there was no music on this uh, island, on Monkey Island. Really? At all. Just so silent, there huh? was even more loneliness, and there. Oh, that, oh man. Yeah. 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 But this is something uh, I talked last time about it. You you weren't there yet, Tom. That I I enjoy the the silent and all the quietness in. The- <laughs> The secret of Monkey Island. It is. It, it feels Monkey like. It, it. To me, it doesn't feel like the lack of music or audio, and and more. It feels more like intention. The presence of silence. Ah. <laughs> 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 there it is. 
Uh, JP in chat has a really good read on the cannibals. He says, I think I'd make the cannibals like circa 2010 burners. Pseudo misfits <laughs> who came out to the wilderness to embrace primitivism in a super bougie way. And that then is, in quotes, that is pretty outstanding, in quotes, actually. My mask of tofu won't help here. <laughs> That's a very good read. On, on if, if, only, if only we had that trope to work with in the 90s. <laughs> well, you do wear a giant tofu mask. But yeah, no, they did. They, uh, True. This this game just one more thing that the Secret of Monkey Island was ahead of its time on of of b- oh, yeah. b- bougie. But I, I mean uh, I mean like the, uh, the 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 uh, 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 late era burner. <laughs> yes, that's true. I like that as a yeah. So did Stan sell ships twenty years ago already? Maybe. I mean, if, I, if, it would not be that surprising if Stan also sold these guys their ship. I guess <laughs> I should. It's a gross his old bottle. His business is his life. He doesn't want it. That's. Hmm. Herman's just here now? <laughs> All right. He, he always stays for a little bit and then walks and away. And then he just walks away on his own? Yeah. Just Can, wanders Can't around. you take the bottle? He, no, Guybrush doesn't want it. What? Really? Yeah. Is there a message in there? Yeah, there was, yeah, there was a message in it, and it was uh, from some lawyers about a grievance that Herman Toothrot <laughs> had with the cannibals throwing his oars into the ravine. Like, that's, I mean, <laughs> the way that you learn all of the backstory of the island through the passive-aggressive notes, and you learn all of your puzzle objectives by just sort of eavesdropping on all these people's crappy notes to each other, it's very good. Mm. There's the ravine. Oh, yeah, with the top-down sprite. Yes. Yep. Right. So good. Ah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I have rope? You need two ropes. Yeah, you need two. Get, you need two ropes. I have none. I have none ropes. Ah, I love this scene. Like this is one one more of those. That's like Monkey Island just seems mm. immense as a place when a, any of these mm. like single pixel things just turn into. Can I go visit this guy, my monkey friend? How many pixels is Guybrush at this point? Is that six, four? Uh. He looks like he's like three or four tall. He's he's four tall but two wide. Okay, all right, eight. Look at that. This jungle environment's so good with that foreground. Like all the rope being here, ah, it doesn't mean anything. But it's just like the feeling that there's just caked on history Mm -hmm. inside of this place. Um, It's very good and very Disneylandy. So I already knocked the. Yeah, let's give me these bananas. I knocked the. it's so, crazy that's the same color palette as Maniac Mansion or Zack McCracken. Yep. Like, if you go to the jungle in Zack McCracken, it looks different. Well, is this monkey going to be my buddy? Does it take only three bananas, or do I need to give him way more than that? Oh, yeah. you, um, you, There are bananas in, uh, in the village. <clears throat> yeah. I don't remember how many you I need. Which you cannot like, access before you get the rowboat. Yeah. Robot. Well, I'll give him this many and he'll Finally follow me a segment, for a while. Finally a segment, segment but... <laughs> uh, so... What did I just do? Oh, how did I do that? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Now you've done I, it. I pressed, a, <laughs> I pressed a, a thing in Scum VM that, was, that I shouldn't have pressed. And now I don't know what I've done. Well, kill me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, JP mentioned uh, monkey sucking down the peels like spaghetti. There's another of the. It's such a oh. detailed animation that reminds me of. Um, uh, I, I thought detailed animations like these only happened since Monkey Island Two. Uh, um, I, I, I think I, I said say that so, so often, but I, I always look at this through the lens of playing this on an Atari ST, which. Um. Yeah, like like these many animations and and details were really rare on Atari ST. Oh, here we go. Half the challenge of this section is trying to get Guybrush to walk fast on the map. I agree. I still don't get how you do it. If you, click, if you click on any target or any edge. Yeah, I thought so too, but... (laughs) Also, let me tell you how how much I enjoy the fact that Guybrush, like, 
plods along, crawls, and then all of a sudden, like, accelerates to 78 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, his, his walk speed the feels jungle. like this stuff feels like, oh, he's taking his time going, you know, it's this huge space. And then you're like, then all of a sudden, it's like, it's like turbo boost. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like in real life, you know, when you're aimless, you're slow, but when you know your purpose. Oh, there's rope. Oh, so many items. Give me these items. Oh, and, and, and... There's a cannon, but no cannonballs, is that, is that this right? Is, like, is that like the... You have to push the cannon, I think. What? Boop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, this is his living room or something like that, right? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, There's nice my spyglass. Spy <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice how he stepped aside. Like, who, who did this? <laughs> it's just a coincidence. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Sunny. God, what a turd. What a turd man you are. This, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, me too. God, oh. <laughs> Herman is also just an extremely weird guy. <laughs> I'll take that. One of those. Give me one of these. I do. Uh, well, Junai farewell. says, I remember when I was little, I was always scared. This whole part that LeChuck would pop up. Uh, yeah, same. Even on Melee Island, like he could appear anytime. Let's see here. I need to get access to the other half of the island. Um, you have one rope now. Oh yeah, so the other rope is in the hands of the guy who hung himself. Yeah, but like the most bleak screen. <laughs> it, it it still shocks me. Like it's dark. It, like it looks a bit too. It it could be a bit more cartoony maybe. Uh, it's good that it's just like. It looks kind of like mean, the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, it right. Really, it, right. It, it really has the feeling of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, though, where all of a sudden you're just like, that. That's just more than I more than I thought I signed up yeah. for. I don't also, hang out isn't it like the, the music stops when you enter the room? Yep, well, the music's only on oh, the map. It, it stops, too. Okay. So I know I can use the gunpowder on the dam, I think, but I, I um, do I use a rope on it, too? As a wick? No. Fuse? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember how don't to actually. Remember. Oh, do I just use the spyglass? No. You have to open the spyglass. Do you? To to get the. There's a nifty lens, lens yeah. in it. Oh yeah. Okay. Then can I use the lens with the gunpowder? No. Do I need to? Mm, do I need to set a memo open. on fire? <laughs> open spyglass. That makes sense. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I, oh, boy. I love the Lucy. Oh, 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 oh the, stupid! Of the at some point, yeah. Chat has reminded me that I'm a dummy, and by dummy, I mean it's an adventure game, and it's ridiculous. So you use the lens with the sun. On the sun. Do I have Whoa. to be standing? I have to be standing here, I guess, and then what? use the lens. I don't remember with that. With the sun, and, and there then it is. oh boy, oh, <laughs> and then here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice how he. <laughs> He get off early. Oh, enough. people also said you could use a cannonball with, uh, with the rock to make a spark. Right. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Let's do it. I guess. What? Uh, it's a truly simulated world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever used that solution. Well, this guy's gotten grosser, and uh, <laughs> oh, God. give me that yeah. rope. Thanks, dude. Yep. Yeah. He, he. Can you? Can you? The way that he was killed is uh, highly questionable because it, it looks like I don't know, it looks like he was strung up and then the river was damned and that's what hanged him uh, well, it's a lot him? of trouble to go through just to hang somebody yeah, no, you can't look at anything here I got the rope though, so uh, God, that background looks so good and that, that <laughs> guy looks so good oh, yeah. there he looks like an unhealthy looking man yeah, uh, that's all true He's... Uh, LD feed us says about the puzzle breath of the wild for adventure games yep yep <laughs> this is it the, <laughs> the um 
Lucasfilm invented chemistry simulation. Okay, so um, I can use a rope with these. Yeah. Long Show us the special animations. I know these are so good. These are great. Whoosh. There we go, and then climb down. I love that top-down view. Do, 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 do. This mm. is one of those things where, like, it's. Um, I feel like in a 3D game you would be tempted to have the camera follow Guybrush down as he gets further and further down. But I think because of the mm -hmm. fact that it's 2D and he just gets smaller mm -hmm. and smaller, it makes you imagine what it's like to be down there in a way that is awesome. Uh, and you don't, have to, you don't have to show it. I'm not, it's spooky. Yeah, yeah fair enough. All right. <laughs> oh. Just seeing him descend further and further into what is, you know, basically in a, in a... It's like if this was a movie and this was a matte painting and you only could afford to film it from this one angle and then... Right. Just because you could render the whole thing in 3D means you, you could show all of it, but maybe you don't have to. Maybe it's good just like this. Good good comparison. I um, That really has... Ma uh, I like that, that Guybrush uh, said something uh, instead of just not going off screen. That there's a reason why you can't go off screen. You know, the... It's yep. too spooky. It's too spooky. Oh, and then you're just just piddling along in this tiny <laughs> rowboat. Um, <laughs> oh, this takes like seven years, doesn't it? I bet I can make him really Until he fast, reaches though. open water. Hey, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> 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 out of here. <laughs> um, what Let's the, go, boys. The and then you can, you can dock at any beach, oh, right? Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. Um, one more thing <laughs> about the, the, the going down the canyon puzzle. I also like how how it is a very it's not really a cartoony puzzle. It's just you just have to climb just down. Need, need a bunch of rope. rope. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's not like you have to build a wacky rope out of a snake or something like that. But both the ropes um, are, Yeah, actually the puzzles on Monkey Island all, all the notes are really goofy, but all the rest of the stuff you're doing is just like regular yeah. old you're just you're solving puzzles using like the stuff that would be there. I didn't read that memo. I was I was talking over it. Damn it. Salty Horse asks, how did you end up on Monkey Island? Oh, for people who are just catching up, um, we were all on the ship together. We read a ship's log from a captain and a first mate named Herman Toothrot who said they got what they thought was a map to Monkey Island, but it turned out to be a recipe. Uh, they made the recipe, ate it for dinner, and passed out. And when they woke up, they were on Monkey Island. I found the recipe on the ship, made it. Um, it was a gross stew made out of a bunch of stuff. Then a bunch of uh, green smoke came out of a pot, and the ship turned itself around and sailed itself to Monkey Island, so it was some sort of spell. And here we are. This part of Monkey Island always looked crazy. like a bird head to me. Same, same, same. Uh, let's go to this yes. cannibal like village. Let's go to Burning Man. Looks like a duck. <laughs> it's like a bunny. <laughs> kind of tilt your head, it looks like a bunny. <laughs> no, no, you're wrong. <laughs> this is clearly a duck. That's another one of those voices where, like, I after playing, you know, back in the well, cur I'm again, um, curse tangent, but but where coming back at the game like 20 years later, I went back and played it through again, and for some reason, the 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 Dutchman was like one of those ones that just absolutely killed me. Like, I could not stop laughing at that. <laughs> that was was that Tom Kane who did the the I don't uh, know. the you, the. I can't remember now. You would know better now. than me. Hmm. I don't know any names, unfortunately. Look at this big stone head. Game hey, why is bananas. the why why is the village completely empty? Uh, because I think yeah. I'm about to get uh, a little smiley face. I think now that I've stolen something, I'm pretty sure that if I go back this way, they will have been there all along, and I am about to get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's only three. There's so many huts. Well, it's a, it's a set. <laughs> <laughs> You're cannibals. <laughs> I like um, how they have different. Oh, at least Lemonhead has a different personality. By just he's shy and doesn't talk really much. Yep. I like that he's there and never talks. Or rarely talks. <laughs> The guy in the middle has the best head. It's true. It is extremely yeah. good. <laughs> Come. That should do it. Oh, this, oh, is, this is the show. stupidest 
let's do, let's do, let's, let's first look at this memo. Anti root. Yeah, the amount of stupid good backstory that's just hiding inside of all of these notes. Mm. And you don't need to read any of them, I guess. Uh, although I don't know if. I can pick up this banana picker, but I don't think I can leave with it. Isn't there? Let's see, pick right. Up, yeah, it's too big to get through. Was it the floorboard you go through? Yeah. And we will <clears> open <throat> the loose board. Let's see what's, it's true. Yep. This, <laughs> Salty Horse says, this is the first ever escape room puzzle. <laughs> yep, <laughs> the way to escape is to leave the banana picker inside and sneak out <laughs> the back door as a tiny pixel sprite. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was really, like, as a kid, I was so scared that they see me escape. <laughs> like, oh, <no. laughs> crying out loud. I don't remember what to do. Uh, you should... have the banana. Yeah, you can. And uh, now the monkey follows you, and we can. Do I have the banana? The yeah. Uh, I thought they took taking it. Taking the banana trick. Oh, I got the You wouldn't bananas. have met the. But I'm um, first though. Animals. Let's just let's just check in on these guys. Oh yes. Ah, there we go, time gentlemen. Thank you. Yes, that was Tom Kane, the flying Welshman. Uh -huh. Hi, Zach. Hello. The smiley uh, skull uh, next to the ball is so good. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what, what? Ah, three headed monkey. Don't they react to stands? Noteworthy rock. <laughs> what do they want? Don't they react to stands um, pamphlet? Do they? Oh, well. Well, then I guess it's just this, this small statue. <laughs> yeah, if you. The thing about this that's really nice is if you break out of it over and over and over again, their their door locking mechanism gets increasingly uh, increasingly baroque until it turns into Modern. like a yeah, it turns into like yeah. a stainless steel thing with a bunch of computers strapped to it and stuff. All right, let's go feed that monkey some bananas. <laughs> Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, interesting. Uh, Luigi mentioned Luigi Han mentions that Lemonhead is the actual. Why are you adding Mansion into his name? <laughs> you just the the to... only real food themed cannibal. Yeah, Lemonhead is the only food themed cannibal here, and then in Curse, they're all they're all food lovers. Yeah. All f... You swap the pamphlet for the navigator's head. Hm, spoilers. <gasps> Come here, monkey. For now, I will give. What does the leaflet say, actually? I'll look in a sec. Eat that banana. And one more. <laughs> oh, I got my buddies here now. But somebody remembers how to do this. How to get a leg up in treasure hunting, how to get ahead in navigating. Okay, so that's... Uh, well, yeah. We'll save that for later. <laughs> how to get ahead. Oh. Awesome. All right, I have a monkey friend. Uh, <clears throat> who loves to follow me around. Ears on that monkey. Holy. Okay, here we go. Me and that monkey are just going full <laughs> speed over here. <laughs> Look at that old guy. I always feel bad for the. Yeesh. Mm. 
There's there's that joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Pull nose. The lighting on the on the front pole in the foreground is really yep. great. I wonder if that monkey will learn from me what the cool move is. Yes. Oh. And then <laughs> and hey. there he stays forever. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. This monkey head is so scary. It's the second biggest monkey head I've ever like seen. Like the, the, the... Ah, oh, there it is. Bloody, these, these bloody tears. Oof. There's Sam and Max. All oh, right. Give me that. As a kid, I was confused because I only knew Sam and Max Right, I think in Germany we only knew Sam Max from the adventure game because the comics were, weren't translated. Oh, the adventure game. And so I was confused up, yeah. to see them years before the adventure right. game. Wimpy little idol. That poor guy. What does Skybra say about it? What? The monkey? The wimpy, no, the wimpy little idol. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Made by Lemonhead. Sam and Max. I left my ship behind. And so yeah, this um, this this famous quote, the second biggest monkey head. Uh, totally skipped that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I I bet this must be just like another throwaway gag just written in. Yep. And it, it cut stuck. It, it seems like because a it's joke amazing. From, it seems like a joke from Get Smart. Huh. I mean, it's, I don't know if it is, but that, that feels like it's in that zone. Sam and Max even get published before the game. The comics were published, uh, they were a pretty small release, and then Sam and Max were in the LucasArts Adventurer magazine, which was their like quarterly newsletter that was packed into the games for years before they were in Sam and Max at the road. But I don't know if I don't know if all regions got the Adventurer or if that was just where LucasArts uh, published the games directly, because I know in Europe they went through third-party publishers for a bunch of stuff. In Guybrush's hometown, there's a hundred foot tall monkey head. That's probably true. <laughs> That's probably why, why he says it's the second biggest one. Hi. <laughs> Can you say it again? Oh, ah, <laughs> there it is already. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Just being an extremely expensive custom goof. Oh, let's see. Good yeah. stuff them. Uh, be a little idle. <laughs> hey, wow. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Aww. Just like one of mine. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, your job on Monkey Island is apparently to just root around in all these people's lives and steal their stuff and then give them their own crap <laughs> yeah. back to them and act like you've done them a favor. Like, that seems to be all that happens over the course of this whole thing. Uh, I missed the last lines. Now you are friends with them? Yep, they said if there's ever anything you need, come see us, and then they've unlocked this, so I will Oh give great that banana picker. Da, da, da. These goofy Mickey Mouse hands on those banana pickers. Yep. Uh I'll be right back, you guys. Sorry. I drank Aww. too much coffee. We lost our driver. Uh but then we can hear uh Herman. Uh didn't you mention Tom last time that you wanted to voice Herman yourself? Yeah, I tried. I auditioned for him. I I, tried, I can't remember if it was the uh if it was the original audition or if I 
tried to talk him into let me read for him later or how that worked out. I think or maybe it was after we did the cutscene since Herman wasn't in any of the cutscenes, so it might have been in between the two if they hadn't cast the rest yet, I don't recall. But uh but yeah, no, I, I desperately wanted to do Herman. But uh didn't 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 play out that way. Oh bummer. But uh did you did you voice more characters than just Skybrush? No, no, they intentionally kept me out of everything else. I I mean yeah. so I yeah, you know, I mean I think it did well, like a like a duck at some point and a couple of like random animals here or there. But but other than that, um uh they would say, of course, that it was a matter of spreading the love around and also, you know, you don't want to have two similarly sounding people. I think the reality was just that I wasn't as good as the people who were doing the rest of the roles. Probably the the more logical conclusion to make. But um but uh, you know, I actually, you know, it's funny because actually, I, you mentioned you mentioned Tom Kane earlier. He did the Flying Welshman and I guess a whole bunch of he did a whole bunch of other roles. Um, but um, uh, he, Tom Kane, was one of the people who um, inadvertently convinced me that I did not have a long term future in <laughs> character voiceover work, at least of the uh, at least of the uh, varying characters' nature. Um, I, he was one of those folks. It was amazing going into these sessions, and, and some of those people. I mean, it's like. It's it's literally anything. I mean, you'd walk in and the director could be like, okay, so he's this dude and he was born in Amsterdam, but he went to college in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, that's where he learned English. And, you know, he's about 37 and he's about six feet tall, you know, sort of barrel chested, da 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 da, and like, you know, worked as a waiter for most of his life. It's like, and go. And then, like, Tommy, he just paused and think for about 10 seconds and then. Boom, and it would be like, oh my god, that's it exactly every single time. <laughs> just it was stunning to watch. It's like, okay, I feel like within a certain niche, I can do my thing and be pretty good. But it's like that, I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to do with that kind of flexibility. And I mean, the people who who uh, really do this, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the the ones who are sort of the the, the utility uh, the utility infielders of voiceover, I guess. Um, are mm. just, I mean, still just mind blowing to me. You know, even after having worked with them for a, for a good chunk of those years. Mm. So, um, so yeah, that was that was uh, that was the dream, but uh, never 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 quite never quite got there. But uh, but I did read for Herman. I think is Nick Bounty in the chat? Chat Mark Darren, I believe that it is. Uh, oh. Which is awesome. Mark, who was a writer and designer on Tales of Monkey Island and worked with us at Telltale forever. And also... Uh, hey, Mark. Made Puzzle Agent and obviously hey, Mark. Nick, Nick Bounty Games. So, it's Mark. Continuing this chat being packed over the course of its run with every possible person who has ever existed. <laughs> uh, which is awesome. All right, Herman. I guess I should give him the banana picker. Did he just walk into the scene when I was in the bathroom? Is that what happened? No, he stood there and he's screaming. Yeah, he's just going crazy. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm, he gave us the key. To the monkey head. Monkey head. What, we can enter already? Nice. <gasps> it's happening. Well, let's just... Uh... <laughs> We know how to solve this part. This this whole Monkey Island um, chapter, I remember taking me so long when I played it for the first time, and now I feel like we're just blasting through it. Yeah, yeah. Many Island is like part part one in Monkey Island. One is like the longest thing. If you know the solution. Um. I got a weird theory about the monkey head. I know the, what the first biggest uh, the the biggest monkey hand is that Guybrush saw. Oh yeah. It's actually it's actually the same when he was a little kid. Oh, and is that? He kind of forgot. And that's like the weird mixture of him being a kid connected to the ending of Monkey Island Two or something like that. I see. So your your theory is that when Guybrush was even younger, he saw the monkey head, and at that time it was bigger. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I smaller. believe it. It's canon. <laughs> Um, right. Yeah, it's funny. I, I never knew that you could look at the monkey head key and Guybrush would just say it looks like a giant cotton swab because this joke has had so many different versions of itself because in the um, 
in the VGA version and CD-ROM version, they switched over to icon-based inventory instead of text. And in those, the monkey head key being a swab is just given away immediately because it shows up in your inventory and you're like, oh, it's a giant Q-tip. Um, whereas I think for most people, you don't ever look at it until you use it, and then you get this outrageous uh, animation where Guy Rush is like, <laughs> <laughs> so <good>. it's like, what in the world? Uh, <laughs> and then the game just is beautiful. insane all bleh. of a sudden. Now it's bleh. Ah, okay. Is that the first time you see Guy Rush pulls something enormous out of his pants? I believe so. I think that's the first yeah. one of those, like, whoop, the first, like, your inventory is insane. And then, yeah, yeah. it's so weird that the monkey head has a body. <laughs> yes. And yeah. It's... So, and then, then the, the running game gag is just Gabbard super just weird all of a sudden. Artist for the rest of the series. <laughs> is that, so, it's a, it, it, this animation we just saw, I think this is, like, one of the most expensive ones in this game. Like, of him doing the, the, throw, the key throw, and fall down the stairs and such. Oh, it's so good. good. And then and we're in yes, a completely this, different this... weird color palette. Yeah. That's I like the implication that the um, monkey head has a human skeleton torso. Yeah, I don't like it. You said you like it. <laughs> 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 I don't no, think no, that's no. a thing to be liked. <laughs> you, you, want, you want consistency in your, uh, no, in I, your I, giant, giant I, idle heads and your uh, subterranean I don't mind it. I just hate it. <laughs> I also, uh, there's actually something that bothers me and is so picky and, and Zach mentioned it too. It is weird to me that that we go to the right now. Oh, that they enter. cross the line? Yeah, that's true. That the, the, yeah, um... yeah. This is something that kind of bothers me. I wish it were mirrored. It's hard to know, yeah, if the head is backwards or if the camera angle is just disobeying the rules of, of good cinematography. Oh, there's some gross, uh. like... Sort of Hellraiser adjacent wow. content. Yeah, I like that the scary parts just they they try to be scary and not funny, and that's. Great. I forgot. Uh, well, the uh, uh, who knows in the world. Oh, of this EGA. is one of the. This sorry, this is one. This is where there's like one of those great do something fifty times and finally you get something out of it gags, if I recall. Is there? Yeah, there is. If you keep looking at the. Oh, yes, this was like the best one to voice. I don't know if it comes across as funny in, in the in the text print. But yeah, this is the one where he's like, oh, it's like horrible, awful, terrifying. Oh, <laughs> that one's not so bad. Oh, <laughs> kind of like this one. Oh, really? this is beautiful. Oh, yeah, if you keep doing that, like he starts getting, yeah, he starts really? getting increasingly <laughs> um, excited about the, uh, about all the, the, the gory things on the horrible things on the wall. Yeah, which, awesome. which, which was one of the best parts to voice, actually, yeah. Oh, that seems actually not so bad. You know, I can't get this one. Am I at the oh, that's end? That's amazing. Here? I really want to do something with that. Uh, I nose. think you just have to to get. Um, you walk a little bit around and then go back to the village and say, "Like, I'm lost." Oh right, I need I need uh, to learn how to navigate. Uh, so Dom, did you like when you recorded for the special edition of one and two? Mm -hmm. Where there were like lines where you where you were super surprised because you don't remember, or oh, you don't remember what happened in the game? I yeah, think, yeah, I think no. I, I mean, I remember. I remember we went back to the special. There wasn't anything that surprised me then because I mean, I went back and I I, I prepared. Uh, went back. <laughs> it probably it probably been a few years of that. I mean, you know, I've played these every once in a while through the years, and and, and but uh, but certainly before we went back to the special edition, I went back and played it again before before flying out to do the sessions. You know. To get back, when I was living in California, every time they'd bring this back, I, I made a habit of uh, going to ride Pirates of the Caribbean like ten times in a row. Just kind of, you know, it's a good excuse to get in that, get in that piratey frame of mind. Nice. See, he's getting close to turning the corner. I think I'm gonna be close. <laughs> Do um. God, there's so many of these. I'll just keep doing it forever. Um, yeah, I wonder how they, I wonder how they extracted the lines uh, from the, uh, I wonder how they extracted the lines of the classic games of Minecraft 1 and 2 for you to record, and I wonder if there were like lines in the code that, that don't get triggered, but they, they leaked into your scripts. 
Oh yeah, I wonder if that's true. That's true. I'm, I'm sure. That, I'm sure there were some of those. Yeah, yeah, some that we ended up recording that that were never actually. They were never actually. I, I, we may have come across a few of those. Like, like where where did this even? And I mean, I think one thing I people think people don't realize or you don't think about is that you know, particularly an adventure game like this, um, you know, this is not a screenplay exactly. Um, and, <laughs> no, and you know, to the and and you know, w certainly with the with the newer games, you know, like w w with Curse and Escape and all that, where they're where they're planning from the get go that hey, we're going to have to actually get in a studio with a script and record this with somebody. Um, even with those, it was just very weird and disjointed, and you had to kind of piece things together and figure out, you know, what's being said when and what the context is. Um, and there were plenty of times where you'd get a line, like especially if you get like one of those little one-off, little one or two-word lines. And it's like are, I no. have absolutely no. Oh, I missed it. What did he say? It's a revolting. Oh, and we'll I come, find myself we'll come attracted back to, to it. <laughs> actually, this is not too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually, uh, we've, we've everything... turned the corner here. Yep, we have turned the corner. Hmm, you know, <laughs> you're starting to like some of these things. <laughs> oh, this is amazing! I never knew this. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. well, we've, we've turned the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I think he snaps back at some point, too. Gnarly! <laughs> <laughs> now we're, yeah, we're in the good adjective zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, might, that might be the end. It's the best end. <laughs> yep, okay. Yeah, uh, there we go. <laughs> That's really good. Awesome. Uh, I love that. Yeah, people in chat were talking about how it makes Guybrush path back and forth to get to all these different things. Like, to, just to look at, you have to walk, and whether or not it's better or not for you to, in, in an adventure game, like, make you walk there. I like it. I, I like when adventure games mm -hmm. um, make you put a little bit of work in to do things. Not because I think that that makes them harder or anything, but I like when adventure games... Um, try to at least kind of simulate being an actual place and an actual character doing things. I think it's a thing that the Monkey Island games do really mm. well. Uh, it was Neil Cicerega who says, I'm pro walk to hotspot before looking. And Neil, I want to know what your reason for that is. But uh, yeah, for me, I just, I like, especially in, in games like the old, like the original Monkey Island games, the feeling that there's, like, that the world is sort of a tangible, fixed thing, and it's not just a game that you're trying to blast through as quick as you possibly can. Uh, I think it, it kind of passively discourages you from just look at scumming also, which is nice. But that's just my own reason. Also, is this thing procedurally assembled? Like, yeah, are, are these, is this maze a randomly generated maze? Because every time I walk back and forth and it scrolls, the world has warped itself around to being something different and Oh man, this is messing with me. I forgot about this. Yeah. It's really well made. Oh, good. oh look at those eyes. He's probably sick of them now. Okay. <laughs> anyway, to circle back. So the, the, the scripts are, are, are tend to be a little um, weird to look at. Um, and, and even in the ones that were designed for voice, um, you'd come across lines occasionally where it's like, I have no idea what the context here is why he's saying this who he's with or anything like that so it'd be like okay well read it 10 different ways that you think and hopefully one of them will fit what we need and if not we'll pick it up later i guess um but then of course going back to do the special editions was even wonkier because since those were uh -huh. never you know never intended for 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 voice so um uh, so yeah, trying to piece that together in the studio is uh, is tricky, and 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 it was amazing to me that like I, I, honestly, I, you'll you'll notice this when you play these games in the voice. Every once in a while, there'll be a line that was just clearly they had no idea. But like when it was read, it's clear that it's just you know the emphasis is all wrong or something right, like, like that. He and, doesn't want to talk to me, and it's like yeah. definitely that is not where the it's, accent should have been in that. Sentence. Exactly, yeah. So when you hear <laughs> one of those lines like that, like, you know, nine times out of ten, that's because there was some weird random orphan line somewhere and nobody could figure out what the context was, so they just read it, and then it turned out that that was not, you know, the, the right okay. context. Um, but, um, uh, so yeah, just trying <laughs> to sort that sort that all through and figure it out is, and, and, and for me, I mean, I knew these games inside and out when I did it. I just can't, I can't fathom how you know some yep. of the other voice actors didn't know what was going on 
Um, Multiple people in chat I, just I, said, I, I don't even know where I am, Sam, at the same time. Yeah, yes, notable, yes, exactly. A notable, yes. awful context mystery yes. and, and hit the road. Yeah. And I guarantee you that was like a line where it's like, yeah, I'm not sure where he says this. Uh, yep. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I Oh, by the way, like I, I didn't know this. Um, uh, th last time in chat, someone said that for the insult sword fighting, did you record the lines twice? One with a... When you said the, the right insult yes you say it more like Haha, yes we and... did yep, exactly yeah multiple oh, this is such a cool this is a really cool addition that's a good yeah, detail same 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 insult or same same line but but one's for when it's incorrect and like a little unsure and the other one for when it's like the triumph oh, yes this is the correct answer oh this is really cool i didn't know that <laughs> yeah no we definitely did that And I think uh, I think last time I, I think it was ATM machine mentioned I didn't know that as well. There's like a randomizer of how people uh, pronounce the name Threepwood, or is it just Fester Shinetop? Like he he always says your name in a different oh, yeah, way, a but different. it seems ra uh, randomized. I didn't know that as well. Well, they're all. I mean, I, I think they're. I mean, I think they were actually scripted that way but i don't think it was were they maybe were they randomized in the code i don't know i don't think they were procedurally generated or anything like that oh oh that would be we fed 3700 <laughs> 3, pirate 3700 pirate names into an ai <laughs> and here's what came out <laughs> it's good that everyone defines themselves as the only that's awesome civilized people on the island well that's a good question <laughs> looking for get 30 it. dead guys and one woman The German market was just very, very confused, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I how did, how did no get ahead in navigation joke, joke translate? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? No idea. Because, I mean, I, I don't haven't... think in the, in the localization they would do... I mean, of course, they've got the, 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 the local voice cast, but, I mean, I don't think they... Did they adjust the script at all? I don't even know. They Yeah, I mean, it depends on the game, but usually localization, people try to adapt... All the puns and jokes oh, as yeah. they can, but right. Sometimes you can't. Certainly, yeah. certainly now, but I mean, but, but I mean, in in that era, was that something that they were that they were doing, or I don't. Know. Oh, they were especially. Um, let me just check. I, I don't want to get the name wrong. Um, but... Oh, you may. Oh, we were talking about last week about how uh, instead of uh, instead of grog, it was. Um, yeah. What did you call it sort of sort of sort of the near beer of Germany, or yeah, instead of root beer. Yeah. Yeah, instead of root beer. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. And I got one, actually. I will grab it when we get to the point oh, in the game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, who translated it again, Chet? Um, I forgot his name, but he, he did a really good job. Yeah. Like, he, he also, I, I think I read that he, at least for Minecraft and 2, he actually was at the Skywalker Ranch. And oh, nice. He tried to convince Ron to change the the monkey wrench puzzle graphically for for oh, for the <laughs> how do you oh <laughs> because it's impossible thing. to translate yeah. it you can't translate it oh that's and, rough um and Bo uh, boris schneider jona or boris schneider john yeah he translated and he did a really good job okay um and i guess he was always in contact with 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 the team as well and yeah because I don't know about the scripting. I remember hearing some stories about the the voice localization. Like as as those were going out, I just kind of hear little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Tales of Monkey Island wasn't translated by him, for example. And I think this was a bit, yeah, not yeah, not so good. Like yeah, in the in the past, I think they were more flexible in the past translating the yeah. things. Although I remember, so, I remember hearing the story once. It was one of the um, it was one of the Star Wars games. And I think it might have been it might have been the German team that was doing the voice localization. I guess you know would they you know send out the script and they do the call the casting locally and then record a bunch of lines and send them back for you know approvals before they'd go with it, obviously. And uh, and I and I seem to remember I heard like a story once where like a bunch of the the, the I think it was the the, the the German team that was working on the voiceover sent back all the voice samples. They're like, hey, give it a listen. We think you're gonna love it. Oh, by the way, um, we 
we think we improved the process on Darth Vader's voice. We think you're going to like it a lot. Mm. And they were like, uh, 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 no, 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 you don't change the digital process on Darth Vader's <laughs> voice. That is, not, that is not something we localize. Did that That's stick, weird. though? I mean, it would be really a delight if just forever because of that in, in Germany, Darth Vader just had to sound different. Completely different sound, yeah. I, I mean, I never know. I'm really curious to know what that sounded like. but It's more sort of like a nose whistle breathing instead of a, instead of a mouth mask. <laughs> I definitely missed what they just said about the stupid head because uh, I was listening to you guys talk about video game. I'm sure it wasn't content. important. Uh, right. They want to learn how to get ahead in navigating. <sighs> Okay, sure? back to the game. I haven't paid attention to the game in a while. What's going on? Um, <laughs> we we learned about the banana picker and the navigator head and all the garbage with these guys, and they said they would give us the head, but they don't know how to get another one, so I'll give them a how to get a head in navigating pamphlet that Stan, Stan gave me, which will teach them how to get another head, so they will give us the one head that they have. Oh, is this actually the navigator that came with? I don't know. He might be to older. the island. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? Uh, there he is. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, it's so beautiful. Love it. This is Keep still one of the best things. Wrapping this magical necklace game. that makes it visible to ghosts. Mm. Yeah. This... <laughs> We're deeply in the good weird pirate zone now with this guy. Yep. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> he likes you now. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. The the details of the eye animations are also good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is Captain Dredd's friend, says chat. So, I, okay, I guess we'll learn about the navigator head in... Uh, the curled back slip and a desiccated smile. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So good. Captain Dredd? Oh, right, yeah, it is Captain Dredd's friend. It is mentioned in the next game, right? Right. Yeah, seeing seeing close ups like this, or like some close up portraits in the navigator's head, I wish there were a, a Lechuk close up. Or just like how, how would, would uh, Steve Purcell Lechuk close up look mm. in EGA? Was there was there no Lechuk close up at any point in this game? Mm -mm. I don't think Lechuk ever really? gets close up. Really? Uh, maybe anymore. in the final screen when when he mm. explodes and flies through the sky. This is the closest oh, okay. we get. <laughs> face cut. <laughs> which is a good yeah. which is a good face. Yeah. Which got cut in the Atari ST version. Oh, and I don't know why. Oh. Or maybe in the version I had, I don't know, but yeah, we never got the helicopter view. Hi. Surplus eyeballs is my band name. <laughs> can you can you talk to him already? Hello. Hello, Mr. Oh. Whoa, hello, hey. <laughs> Somebody probably voiced that. Good. Okay, there's now an, a discussion if Earl Bowen is still alive or dead. There are two... What yes. Earl Bowen is alive? <laughs> no, he is alive, right? Yeah. It's appropriately yes. cheery for the scene. Yeah, yeah weird. <laughs> Alright. I guess I don't need the head in this scene. It's pretty this obvious. Is a, this is, is a beautiful go. puzzle. It's really... It's... Going with the animation effort again is great because they could have also solved it by like the navigator saying where to go. Oh yeah, it's 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 good that the sprite spins around and then tells you which direction to go. Ah, whoops! I forgot I need my other background. There you go. Salty horse. I got the impression um, back when we did the special editions. The like, I just I didn't forget the full story, but I got the impression that like they had to go like hunt and find Earl Bone like he was like off in the mountains of Hawaii somewhere <laughs> and like it was this whole thing 
dating, uh, like this, going on this epic quest to find the voice of LeChuck and bring him back. I can't imagine. Uh, although it sounds like apparently someone's saying he's got a credit for 2017. So, but um, but it, but I do recall them saying that uh, that finding him was a bit of a challenge uh, back at the time. Sing. Oh, by the way, I ha I have this idea for a Halloween costume, and but I'm not able to do it, and so I hope someone of you will do it. So, it's a Guybrush costume, this Guybrush actually, and you have a Navigator's head, so you kind of get this creepy head, like yes. the Navigator. And um, what I want to do is like uh, put on a ring that is connected to the Navigator, and there's a small motor in it so that the head actually can turn. <laughs> and while you hold it like this, nice. and and you you I don't know you program it that it randomly does looks left and then front back and such. And I don't know how to do that, but and I hope someone will do this Halloween costume of you. Please, someone do it. Let's see. You can't have you it. Can't oh, have here it. we go. <laughs> um. Yes, exactly, JP. Uh, Raspberry Pi and something like that. It's a uh, oh, real direction for the GPS. This, this sounds like a project for Andrew Langley. It does. Just saying. It does. Yeah, that's right. Um, I like that it's, it's a bigger font in this screen. <laughs> it's, it's like a full screen dialogue puzzle. I don't know. Let me ask my pants. Oh, that's rude. Well, I'm just going to be mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Bite me? <laughs> but can you actually solve it by being mean? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that too. I was always nice. Why would you do that? <laughs> hey. oh. uh, but wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, it's true. Go, go to the ship first. It's, it's... Let's be an awkward party crasher first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those people I have a really hard time being mean in games. Like, I can't do it. Like, I know, like, I'll tell myself, yeah. I'm going to do the evil playthrough now, and that lasts for about <laughs> five minutes. It never works. In, in Monk Island 1 and 2, I'm always a big asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I like that they don't even answer. No. What does Skybra say when you look at the ship? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, we'll find this out. This is what we are here for, Jake. Getting all the lines. It's that eerie looking ghost ship he saw. Ah. Huh. Aha! A hint. <laughs> Boop. Well, I have a ghost. I have a ghost sheen. Look at that. Yeah. It, it's also impressive how they managed to do an invisible effect with that yeah. tiny um, color palette. Yep, looks good with the little footsteps blobbing around. Oh, look at that ghost dog. What a cute little ghost dog. <laughs> <laughs> For thy life. <laughs> oh, the dog reacts to you. I like that. Ah, he does. Nice touch. Hey, Bill, to answer your question, yes. Um, I only ever really worked with the fellas in the song for Curse, the uh, Pirate Eyes Meant to Be song. Um, but I, I saw a bunch of, usually it's like going into and out of sessions, like somebody else be coming out of a session, I'd be going in, you know, a couple, five minutes in between, like, hey, good to meet you, whatever, moving on. Um, 
but um, Tom Kane I saw around quite a bit because he was basically just voicing everything at that point. So, but other than that, just a couple minutes here and there. Do you remember? Oh, I need. Do I have? Do I need grease? Yeah, or something? you can go below deck. Oh yeah, that's right. But but other things to look at in this room. Also, to me, it's an amazing moment to see like. You saw this room early in the game, this cutscene, and now, you're, and in now it. you're in it. Yep. Yeah. Am I remembering? No, the you? song was not my idea. Um, what? What? Sorry, I'm answering the question. He was asking if the uh, uh, yes. the 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 pirate song was my idea. No, what happened was they uh, they had written the scripts for the five songs in the Barbary Coast in the barber shop, but they had no tunes. So I said, hey, can I, you know, like we were getting close to lunch. I was like, can I just think about these over lunch? So I went back over lunch, just kind of thought of the tunes for the different songs, came back, we laid those down. And from what they told me then, they, you know, when those got back to the mothership, um, they just loved how those turned out and then thought, well, hey, let's add an actual, you know, musical number. Um, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I had been told. But no, the, act, the song, doing the full-fledged song was not my idea. Do I have a feather, or do I? Did I imagine that? Uh, you have to steal feathers from the chicken in the next room. Oh, I, I thought that I had one. I thought that I had that feather quill, but I guess I don't. You, uh, I think it's part of the recipe or something. Uh, Junaid, to answer your question, never, not once. Nope. What was the question? The question was uh, if uh, if if my voice is ever recognized in the open world. No. Listen to this Which honestly is is exactly. for the best, I think, probably. Oh, this reminds me that I was actually—is that, is that sound the pig? Yeah, that's a pig. Look at that gross pig. <laughs> gross, looking at me. I don't think I've ever heard that sound effect. That's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, it, it reminds me that I was given all the the tools to run the Roland MT32 audio emulation, which is the like nicer sounding MIDI, and I forgot to hook it up before the stream. So sorry about that. Um, we're living in the ad lib life. No, I, no, no, no. Like, this is this is this is this is fantastic. I like how Guybrush is disgusted by it and has and he adds three uh, exclamation marks. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, a hatch. Yep. All right. Ghost feather. I got the ghost feather to tickle the ghost. Really? That's supposed to be the chicken? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cute puzzle. Chicken sounds like it needs a little herbal tea. Give me that grog. All right. So I have LeChuck's key, and I don't know. Is it for the crate? How did you get the key again? I used the magnetic compass to magnet it off the wall. Classic. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does the key do? Can you go open the hatch and the? Oh, is it? Cool? Is it? Am I imagining? They're all I chickens. Think? It's not a duck. Cause that sounds like a little like a duck. I really thought that but I could get chicken. some some greasy crap to put on the hinge, to, so I could get in the hinge. But I don't remember what you use for it. Uh, you need the tools. Um, I need those to ghost open the tools. Chest. Yeah, but I don't remember where to get the ghost tools. Open the hatch. I can't uh, open the hatch. Yes. Oh, I see. I am not knocking the pig noise. I love the pig noise. Let's be clear about this. <laughs> I would not good. dare. I would not dare try to replace that. Oh, what is, um, what happens if you go past the red? <laughs> I hate reds. Like, <laughs> just looking at the other reds who like passed out. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what is a rat like? Maybe a rat likes the... Grok. <laughs> there it goes. Give me that ghost grease. Can you just take it? Yeah. Oh, oh that rat's Aww, out. He's gone. Rat. He's sleeping. Can you, can you look at the rat? <laughs> oh, he's, no, oh, he's gone. All right. he, he went home. Poodles get a disclaimer, but rats... Rats, grow. yeah. 
vermin. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> There's a glob of grease on Squeaky Door. <laughs> Whoa, listen to that snoring. <laughs> snoring mouse. Blam. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, Blade Runner 2049 trailer. <laughs> Sorry, can we, can we just listen to this for a second? I want to hear this again. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's like Tron. Um, wait, wait, don't don't leave. Uh, uh, can, you, can you talk to Elaine? Or talk to the cell? I don't know. I am no. here for the Monkey Island Tron crossover. Yeah. I'm talking to that now. Wow. I like that that guy rushed as governor. I gotta I gotta zap him. I like that above the the door. It has a big brick sign. Yep. <laughs> brick. Oh, give me these ghost tools. Give me those Indiana Jones. I think. Regarding, since there's some porcelain chatter here, I think, and I, I could be misremembering, I could be misremembering, but I believe I was told that there was absolutely no meaning behind the porcelain joke whatsoever. It was just like, why not? And was it there before Monkey Island 4? That um, Gabbers was scared of porcelain? It was It was Curse, I think, wasn't it? When, when, it first, when the porcelain thing first yeah, came Yeah, porcelain out? was in Curse. Yeah. yeah, there was oh. a little Indiana Jones theme right there, which they had to license, I think, because it's in the credits. Uh, the Raiders theme is credited to John Williams at the end of this game just because it goes nar, 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 when you open that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got that route. I'm supposed to get out of here, right? Hopefully I don't need to do it. It's funny how, how they reuse the Indiana Jones theme in the next game, also at the moment when you get you finally get to the, yep. the big chest. I like that they spared us this particular yes. travel. Got the root. Wow. <laughs> yep, it's all true. <laughs> I will now get my root beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, be, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> There I think they is. have probably. I think the designers have <laughs> accurately predicted that at this point we'd be very, very, very sick of traveling around the island. <laughs> nice monkey. It's so good that you can tell him, or whatever this is. Uh, I'm not such a wimp after all. Like, no. I was complimented. All I have, the only person I have to tell is this monkey. Don't worry, you did not miss a three-headed monkey show up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see. So I today I bought uh, this. Oh yes. This beer. So it's not root beer; it's the German translation. It's malz beer. Malz beer. That's right. Malz beer, malz trunk. Which is kind, which is kind of like uh, we call it children's beer because children can drink it because there's no alcohol in it. Furious peddling. Oh yeah, they cut the oh. travel out in both directions. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I always feel I bad like zapping this guy. <laughs> you don't like it that much? You can zap yeah, those yeah. with it though. <laughs> Super sweet, yeah. Yeah, peddling. <laughs> yeah but this guy... Yeah. Kill Bob here? Oh yeah, you can. Of course you can. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. Duh, duh. I would never kill Bob. Sometimes it's fun to kill Bob. Bang that. <laughs> ah. Why are you still here? Oh. Can you say I give up? <laughs> what? The, the, I think there was a line just though, like where Gavin says, "I give up." <laughs> Game ends. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm tired of chasing. Oh. <laughs> 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 
You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to stop that wedding. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't sink their ship. Right. Bob, hey Bob. Yes, they all know Oh, Bob. they know Bob? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but they, they're talking about... God, I forgot there's like an idol right now while you've got the selection up and you can just listen to these guys catch up because they know Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how, it's like Bob, uh, he was alive on Millie Island? Yep. He's like, oh, just usual. As a ghost ship shows up, Lechuk <laughs> kills everyone. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever let this play out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that. And Kaifash doesn't do anything. Like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> God, just... <laughs> but how did they get here? They don't, they don't, they don't. I'm sure there's like what you just walk here. <laughs> last part. It's not part four. Nope, it's last part. <laughs> The way he's looking to the left, it looks like they were all standing there and running away on the left. I yep. That. Thanks. <laughs> Mouthwash. Uh, yeah, this is the, like, it is Guybrush Kicks butt where every single thing that you say just mm. is a, is a, is a one-liner to say before just, like, toasting this guy with root beer. <laughs> Grim Spectre. Fabulous. <laughs> of this course is like not with so threatening. many other ghosts, like how how um how nice they are. They're like, excuse mm -hmm. me, do you have an invitation to the wedding? Well just because you're dead, that's no reason to be impolite. Yeah, yeah. Does he have a dagger cool. shoved in his head? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I suffer from a rare pigmentation efficiency syndrome. <laughs> oh, are you are you applying for a position mm -hmm. as a ghost? <laughs> yes. Can you talk your way through this guy? Do I ghosts so. smell? I don't know. Maybe that's a trick question then. I kind of feel like it should be. Like, what am I, a zombie? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there we go. All right, fine. Uh. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> This stuff's great. <laughs> yeah, all right. Can you can you enter the the voodoo shop? Uh, oh. Pinch penny. I thought the exact same thing with because of the the light. It looked like a surfboard. Dude, Where? you don't have that beyond the grave musty smell. Are you sure you're a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I like that root beer. Gnarly. It would be era appropriate. Oh, it's great that church music is here already. Yeah, that it's coming it's out through the door. Almost. Oh, hey, this guy's here. <laughs> yeah, can you still talk to him? No. Oh, bummer. Let him drink some root beer. Good job, Dad. He still does his job. Oh, creepy minister is back there. Uh. Hey, there's those legs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll we'll indulge the graduate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Don't kill me. laughs> oh, there it is. Beautiful. Nothing matters that Guybrush does in this game. Yep. It's beautiful. It's so good. You're a spectator to your own story. <laughs> well, how long does... Wait, how long does this Lichuk stumble? Does he sit here um, just being wrecked? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who? But? but? What? <laughs> I don't remember how they handled that with the voicing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like that. It never stops now, right? Yep. It's gonna sound really good. <laughs> That's really good. I forgot about that. Mm. That you escaped by just being like, yeah, all these guys are just pirates. Then <laughs> they all they all know me. I like how the minister has like a Guinan hat going on. Yep. Oh right, he does. And I like also um, how the situation, like uh, Lichak and you are on the same. Page, right. Kind of like, like what? The what guy, is happening? Guy, yeah, everyone. Got Lichak looks at you like, yeah, exactly. What? What is going on with that? Oh, hey. Oh, God, this. <laughs> Like a Spanish mission Catholic priest, yeah. I'm looking at the <laughs> chat here. Oops. Oh, wait. Whole, wait. Get the loop here, yeah, the first one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Frivolin. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Guybrush forgot and Lichak also forgot all the sword fighting insults. <laughs> Ability. Give the people what they want. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone pointed out one of the monkeys is the captain's Oh, snack this animation monkey. is so good. Yep. Oh yeah. So good! One of them said, whoop, and then he, here we go. Oh, that, that. That root beer's gone. Yep. Very expensive 3D root beer. <laughs> Tiger uppercut. All right, this is where you just <sighs> this puzzle's so good, and then this basic puzzle chain is used as the final showdown for at least the first three Monkey Island games, where LeChuck basically chases you from room to room and zaps you all over the place. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um... The, the the tails ending fight it's really good. Like how oh yeah, we really wanted we really wanted to bring that puzzle structure back for tails because Escape from Monkey Island did Monkey Combat instead, mm. and we really wanted the mm. like the big like gut busting action sequence thing of of 
You guys yeah. being chased around will kind of slowly trying to one-up each other. I like that LeChuck wants the soda for some reason. No, he wants you. You're in there, duh. I'm like, what? <laughs> give me that. No. Oh, come on. Give me it. I'll get beat up a little more first. Yes. There's another nice um, Guybrush stands up animation. Yep. <laughs> he lands on his back. Yeah, this is like just taking you through all of the the set pieces of the first act of the game. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> There's this weird turn around animation. Have you seen that? <laughs> There's this one sprite where Guybrush goes like whoosh. What am I just getting knocked <laughs> right back oh, here? Oh, same spot. Rude. Get out of here. Boop. <laughs> <Bonk. laughs> That's cool that it remembers where LeChuck is. Yeah. Is this the, this is the only screen no. where you can finish it, right? I think you can beat him up anywhere. Okay, can you anywhere? Yeah. Can I get some coins? Yes, give me him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, did I, you just pick I up will finish the game with as many pieces of eight as possible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I'm did you I actually just get take back one up? Yeah, I did. I think so. I don't know. Did my number go? Really? <laughs> That's funny. Dance Cricket probably is a hollow box with a pirate in there. There's some gnarled old ninety-something-year-old pirate, like. All right, I should stop getting. I'm just gonna grog. get back and forth the same two spots. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna zap him. <laughs> the classic 176 <laughs> pieces of eight, Ryan. Yes, this is <laughs> my use repair with. Yeah, eat it. Oh, <laughs> he sweats. Oh, this is the this is the beginning of LeChuck being actually a creepy, weird thing. The skeleton like lurching towards you for a oh, second. Oh wow! Ugh, gross. Mm. Yeah, you know, and but then it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and the sound is good too. Mm. Oh, good. uh. Here you go. Here's the here's the Steve Priscilla Chuck close up for you. Yeah, so there it is. All right. Yeah. Ah, look at that town down there. So good. <laughs> Classic. Yep. Yeah, that's a great, great screen. Of different versions of that, right? Where you can go home with Herman Toothrod and then your crew stays on the island. If you sink your ship, you go, I think he uses a rowboat or something. I learned yeah. something from all this. Ah, uh, there's only one, uh, one answer for this, which is that. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What a good last line of what the game secret? if you that option. <laughs> the secret of my gallon is never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> hey, we did it. We beat a video game. <laughs> oh. Holy moly. I think you beat a video game in... No, we all beat it. All of us together. I made smart-ass remarks. So. Oh, that's true. Well, that's your job in this context. <laughs> and when you're and when you're paid to play the main character of this game. <laughs> I wonder what percentage of the people who finish this game and get the turn off your computer and go to sleep actually did that at about three o'clock in the morning. Like I want <laughs> I want data. I want to know how well they knew their audience. Because I was among <laughs> those people. <laughs> right, where you're like you got you got you feel the sort of downward slope towards the end of the story. It's like oh, I'm just staying up for this and then it is three. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they did they just yeah. 
Because I was like, oh my gosh, they got me. Yes, yes. I'm glad John Sinclair got that 286. Yay. Open seagull. Seagull? <laughs> Not the way it to be. Oh, that still is true, I believe. <laughs> it's beautiful how they just they just don't stop writing <laughs> jokes. <laughs> There's no book. Shut up. <laughs> Although it's interesting, there you go. There it is. Driving computer, go to sleep. Although it was interesting to me when I when we went back and did these two, I, you, I forget how much uh, like you get used to the curse and the escape thing, and then you come back and play the first two, and it's like they were far less jokey. The first yep. two, in the general, first one especially, really like, is joke oh, yeah. Yep, you're right. I think both both the first two are just. Do you mean like there's less content, or that they play everything more straight, or both? No, I mean in general they play them. They play everything more straight. I mean like, like curse and escape is just like a constant. It's 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 just it's just this nonstop barrage of one liners, you know. Mm -hmm. And then after getting used to that, you come back and you play these, and it it's. It, is much it's just much less straight up jokey there are way fewer lines that are just straight up written as yep, I, you know punch lines it's it is more of just a pirate adventure story that is in a weird funny world where you happen to be a big smart ass uh, yeah exactly and, and less the construction of the whole world is a joke vehicle which i think the later games get more and more mm -hmm. more and more and more into. yeah what i find interesting is that it has these elements that i would put into a day of the tentacle game with like there's a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, and there are piranha poodles, yep, and other like outrageous things. But they, they, I think those things actually punch a little harder in this game in some ways because of the fact that there's so much. They're they're like the foundation is relatively serious. So then when you pick up a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, you're like, what? What is this? What is yeah. this? Uh, whereas it's kind of just sewn into the fabric of of the later games more. I think. Um, yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Well. Any final words about this Monkey Island 1 stream before we turn off our computer and uh, and go to sleep? I guess for, for Marius, maybe you will go to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know yeah, if that's but... for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So thanks everyone for watching. We're probably going to play Monkey Island 2 because how can you resist playing Monkey Island 2? <laughs> um, we don't, I don't know if it's going to be next week will. exactly or what, but uh, that's the plan. I think we're going to actually start with the demo from Monkey Island 1, which is a totally different thing that just uses the same art and characters and I think was written by uh, Mike Stemley, like the uh, sort of the other LucasArts crew um, at the time, like who made Sam and Max at the Road and whatnot. But um, I've we'll figure that out. the demo from Monkey Island 1. It's weird. It's I very weird. It is. It is a really good demo. Yep. It is like a tiny. It's, it's like to the tone it is, is like just a different. Remix. Yeah, oh. yeah it's, it's cool. So we'll check that out, and then we'll probably roll right into Monkey Island Two, and uh, that's it for now. So thanks everyone very much. Thanks Dom for appearing. Thanks all. Uh, thanks Marius for making uh, this happen by telling everyone to stream Monkey Island. <laughs> all yeah, right, I'm glad. <laughs> See you guys all, all right, later. later on all. Bye. 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 Bye.